So the cops turn up at your house, which is quite disquieting. I mean, most of us are clean skins, and we open the door and see two cops there, and immediately you just, your mind's racing, and you think, oh, 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 listen, guys, it's been a big misunderstanding. I'm really sorry. I was, I was stoned the other night, and I was having a few scotches, and I was just on the internet, and all of a sudden those images came up, and I thought, this, <laughs> this is wrong. And I deleted the history, and I've emptied my cache, and I've smashed the computer and wrapped it in plastic, and I've thrown it in the lake, and they go, we're not here for that. And you go, oh, I... Um... <laughs> if they're coming around to a house of a clean skin, that's what they get. They get a bit of panic and fear, because they know if they're going around to a house that belongs to a member of the criminal class. Because what they're confronted with is when somebody opens the door from the criminal class is, fuck off, you jack dogs! <laughs> Boom! and they kick their own door shut. <laughs> Who was that, Barry? It was the fucking Jack, Cheryl, and I told him to fuck off! <laughs> Jeez, I'm feeling horny. I mean, I'm always horny because I wear tracky dacks and no undies, so I've always got a half bar. <laughs> But that spike in my adrenaline by telling the jacks to fuck off <laughs> put me right over the top. Let's get on the couch, Cheryl. And so the beautiful cycle of life is complete. 